the first part of that is why should we teach math facts to automaticity? Why is it necessary to do that? Well, having math facts at automaticity, uh, at fluent, see, improves students' ability to learn, uh, to learn new material, because they're not having to th stop and think about uh, deriving math facts while they're doing higher order skills. So, um, for example, the first teacher to field test uh, what we called mastering math facts back then, to use rocket math, uh, taught addition to her first graders. And then she got a chance to loop with them into second grade. So she taught them subtraction in um, second grade. And about middle of the year, the math program she was using began to uh, set up to teach borrowing. And um, an amazing thing happened. And she was so excited, she saw me at a play and ran up to me at the intermission and grabbed me by the lapels to tell me that she had taught her second grade students how to borrow in three days. Now, if you've ever taught second grade, that's incredible. This is a painful thing that goes on for weeks, usually. And they had it in three days. And I said to her, wow, they must be a smart group. And she said, no, not really. Um, but uh, they knew their subtraction facts. And so when she was going through the process, you know, can we take nine away from four? No. Uh, so we borrow, now we have 14. 14 take away nine is what? And usually the lesson would fall apart at that point while everyone took off their shoes and socks in order to have enough toes and fingers to count. And uh, instead, what happened with the second grade classes, they simply said, five, and, um, and they went on with the lesson. And so everything was focused, they could focus all their attention on learning the algorithm of borrowing. So that is why having math facts is essential, is when you have it, you can focus on, uh, on the higher order things. You're not distracted while you're learning more complex problems. So what exactly do we mean by automaticity? Obviously it means, you know, knowing it a little bit better, but Here's what um, it means. So automaticity is uh, the goal of rocket math, and it is the third level of learning. So the first level of learning is accuracy. When you first learn something, you could do it correct, uh, but slowly and with a lot of concentration. I can remember being accurate at um, trumpet pieces uh, when I was in the band in elementary school, and I could play every note in, uh, in order without making any mistakes. Now, it was pretty slow because I really had to think about that, but I could do it. I had learned it to accuracy. But then uh, I came back to class, and the band director is going like this, and I'm supposed to keep up with it. I can't do that. I, I needed more practice to develop fluency. So fluency is that next stage uh, where you can still remain accurate uh, while going fast. You don't start making errors if you go quicker. You can just do it. Uh, so it takes a lot more practice, but you get to the level of fluency. But then the third level comes after that, and that's automaticity. Now, I had um, my, uh, my second wife uh, took up knitting uh, while we were married, and um, I thought it was so wonderful, homely, and domestic, and uh, she was pretty fluent. She was really rattling along. Um, and so I would always uh, put down my book and, you know, make conversation. And um, next thing I know, she'd be saying mean things to me and tearing out stitches because she was not automatic at her knitting. She could do it fluently, but she had to concentrate. She couldn't do anything else. Uh, and so automaticity is when you can do it quickly, accurately, and you don't really have to think a lot about it so you can do something else at the same time. So here's an example of that I'd like you to see. When, Marine, when the Marine Corps band is marching like that, they are automatic with playing, right? Because they're playing the music and they're marching and keeping in time and doing that. So they're doing multiple tasks. So the learning of the music itself has become automatic. Um, 
There's one other feature of automaticity that's interesting, which is it's called obligatory. And um, I'll show you an example of that. I write those four letters up here, and you cannot help but read the word stop. Stop has occurred in your brain. And uh, that's different than you can think of those beginning readers going st up, st uh, stop. You know, and then they're so happy that they figured it out. Uh, it's not obligatory for them. It is for you because you've learned it so well. So automaticity, that's what it is. Um, but there's even more reasons to uh, bring math facts to automaticity. Calculators. Um, you know, everybody thinks, well, calculators means that you don't need to uh, teach math facts anymore. Far from it. You have to have math facts to automaticity to know if your answer's right. If you've had a typo, uh, you have to know what five times eight is uh, in order to know whether this is the correct answer or close to it. Um, and then uh, as I taught older kids, I came to learn that manipulation of fractions is absolutely dependent on instant recognition of facts. Kids have to know uh, those relationships. I discovered this uh, when, in desperation one day, I wrote up this set here, and I asked them, okay, how are these the same? And after some thinking, one kid raised his hand, uh, this is a remedial group, mind you, and he said, uh, they're all fractions. That's, you're right. <laughs> they are all fractions. How are these fractions the same? Nobody could tell me. I mean, they, they literally could not do that. And so, you know, when I would reduce 8 24ths to 1 3rd, it was like magic to them. They go, wow, that's amazing. Could you do that again? You know, um, they really didn't understand those relationships, and so they couldn't understand. And what happens is, if you can't get fractions uh, and converting them to decimals and all of that, uh, you can't get into algebra, or you can't do well in algebra. And if you go to a high school uh, that still distinguishes between the kids who are ready for algebra and the ones who aren't, the ones that are in the class that are not ready for algebra, what they have in common is they don't know their multiplication facts. Uh, and that's not something that remedies itself. Uh, if, you, if you haven't picked them up along the way, um, you're going to need to do some special practice.